Hey everybody, it is Ed. Happy New Year. <laughs> 2022. Here we come. Let's see what happens. All right, but if you saw my last video uh, that was posted prior to the New Year, um, you will see that I received a gift from uh, one of my viewers, Mark, and a gift that I was extremely happy to get which was this book, Elvis, Rockin' Nassau, Summer of 73, Nassau Coliseum, Uniondale, Long Island, New York, by Russ Howe, and Tom Salva, and there's a forward, and the photos are actually by, dun, 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 dun. I'll find it, oh, there it is, uh, Photography by Carol Mason. Oh, man. All right. So now when I when I opened this up, I was very excited that I got it. I was not at these concerts. Uh, however, I do remember being three, four. Well, yeah, just, just turning four, going to the parking lot of Nassau Coliseum where my father was waiting in line. And uh, yeah, good times. Uh, I did not make it to these concerts. My parents were at all four shows, front row. And what I've come to learn uh, since opening the book is, I'll, I'll, I'll read what it says. Author's note, from Friday, June 22nd to Sunday, June 24th, 1973, Elvis played four sold-out shows at Nassau Coliseum. Those who were there say that they were among the greatest performances that Elvis ever gave. The book contains concert photos, most of which have never uh, been seen before. From the Saturday matinee, where Elvis wore the snowflake suit, and the Sunday show, where Elvis wore the stone and nail suit. So what that means is there's only um, photos in here from two of the four shows, which is fine. Uh, but the thing that I found funny about it was I was interested in seeing if they had any photos from the Friday night show, which is the, where my mom got her very first uh, Elvis scarf, the yellow one. And then the Saturday night show, the following night, when my mom got her second Elvis scarf, <laughs> or scarf from Elvis, I should say, um, the white one. But those nights are not in this book. But still... That's okay. All right, so what we're getting here is the Saturday afternoon uh, pictures and Sunday afternoon. There you go. So I want to try and flip through this. Actually, you know what I might do? They got some great pictures in here. I will give you that. This is a fine, fine book to have. And I am now glad that I own it. So, Mark, again, I thank you. But look at these pictures, man. Some of these are, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, there you go. You may hear my daughter and her friend upstairs. They're uh, yucking it up about something. Having a good old time. <laughs> But yeah, I, I I love it, man. I love this book. The pictures are, are phenomenal, as I like to say. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so how's everybody doing? I'm gonna try and flip through every freaking page. What do you think of these pictures? I think they're pretty good, man. I think they're really, really very good, actually. <laughs> Some great shots in here. I'm, I'm uh, a little sad that they're just black and white, but it is what it is. But this this is a suit that you really didn't see very often. And this is great, too, because it has newspaper articles in here. And one of them, my, my father, is uh, actually mentioned. It says, Richard Hess, vice president of a newly formed New York area fan club, King's Court, has been camped at the, at the Coliseum since Wednesday with Manhattanites, blah, 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 and Patchmara club president. Uh, 
Yeah, and then I have a quote from my dad. It's just everything about him that has created such a loyal following for him, Hess said. The way he moves, the feeling that's behind the singing, charisma, <laughs> end quote. So that's pretty funny that they have that in there, and it's good. And then here you have pictures of uh, ticket stubs, which I have hanging on the wall. And then, yeah, so this is good. A lot of good stuff. Behind stage, getting, this is the Sunday in, in uh, this outfit, Sunday afternoon. There you go. Oh, there's some good shots. Nice. Oh, these are good, man. And again, not an outfit that you would see him in very often. So again, this this one would have been June 24th, 1973. These are the photos that we're looking at now. And the ones we were just uh, looking at before were June 23rd in the afternoon, which was Saturday. Again, 1973. Look at these shots, man. These are great. Good stuff. I must say. Let's see if I can get a little closer on these. There you go. Nice. All right. These are great. I'm digging it. All right, listen, you know what? My hand's cramping up because they've been doing that lately because I am getting older. So I'm going to actually cut this off now and I'm going to continue in a part two. All right, everybody, but I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think so far. And good to yourselves, good to each other. Happy New Year.